Dude, what a close game. What was the name of the guy who scored the winning goal again? It was Casey Sezikis. Say that 10 times fast. Casey Sezikis, Casey Sezikis. Ah, he's a good player, okay? Canada wins 4-1 to one against Switzerland, but don't let the score fool you. That was a nail-biter the entire way. Literally, it's a very bad habit of mine. I personally think it's disgusting. Going back a little bit, I got to talk to Marcus Foligno after the Canada-Sweden game, and he talked about how the start to the second period really hurt Canada. Canada lets in the first goal against Russia, the first goal against the Czech Republic, but luckily they didn't have to pay for it. So obviously the key is to come out strong against the Swiss, right? Well, the Swiss had other plans. Just a minute and nine seconds into the game, Inti Pistoni whacks at it, takes a funny bounce accidentally off Ryan Ellis' stick, and squeaks between Vicentine and the post, one nothing Switzerland. Oh no! And for the entire rest of the period, the entire rest of the game for that matter, Canada throwing shot after shot after shot. They'd, they'd have thrown the kitchen sink if it hadn't been confiscated at the border. Cause who brings a sink? And with the Swiss falling back, Benjamin Kahn just went to work, seemed to be throwing off shooters. He's a southpaw goalie. And hats off to the Swiss. Wow, do I have two head. And hats off to the Swiss pantomime for taking the largely Canadian crowd out of the game for most of the first period. Canada just coming off a loss to Sweden. They're losing to Switzerland, and the fans want to see gold, so you can understand why they're nervous. Until almost. 14 minutes after the first goal, Ryan Johansson scoring. Beautiful feed from Braden Shen. Who else? Those two work wonderfully together, and it's a tie game. This game wasn't just about goals or saves. Guys were paying the price out there. Kaskin in his first game back almost crushing someone. You know he's chomping at the bit. Simone Dupre rocked. Dylan Olsen hit very awkwardly into the boards. He would leave the game, but luckily he would return. And on the same play as the Olsen hit, the Swiss coach getting hit in the head with a puck. That's what it sounds like hitting a brick wall. Imagine how it feels against the human head. Swiss coach getting a black eye from a puck earlier in the World Juniors. You know it's a tough tournament when not even the coaches are safe. Through the second period, Benjamin Kahn's making many of his 46 saves against Canada until Casey Sezikis, known a bit more for his defensive ability, comes in on a two-on-one. Looks like he's either going to do a backhand or pass it. Nope, Rister beats Kahn's finally and Canada has their first lead of the game. I talk like this now. And with Benjamin Kahn's really sealing the show for the Swiss, it was Mark Vicentine's time to shut the door for Canada. And he does, stopping 21 of the 22 shots he faced. Louis LeBlanc makes it 3-1, Cassian 4-1 with the empty netter, and that's the way this would end. Canada wins. And guys, before we continue, holy smokes, imaginary handshake to the Swiss. Because they're never favored, always underestimated, and man, did they give Canada a scare in this one. And on Canada, props to Mark Vicentine. You know what? Looks shaky on the first goal, a couple other nervous moments, but he did shut the door after the first goal, and Canada wins. Casey Zizek is not exactly lighting it up, but he does score in this one, and he's quickly becoming one of my favorite players at this tournament. And Ryan Johansson, remember I said he could be a breakout player after the Russian game? Really producing at these World Juniors, including this game, opening the scoring. And now, Canada's next challenge on their road to gold? No pressure, the States. A game everyone was anticipating. Just over 24 hours after Canada beat Switzerland. So guys, for one of the greatest rivalries in hockey, what are you expecting out of this game? What does Canada have to start doing differently? And what do they have to keep the same? For me, these are two very evenly matched teams, so obviously goaltending is key. And scoring the first goal doesn't guarantee you a win, but it sure makes it a lot easier. So Canada has got to have a good start in this one. Let me know what you think, and remember, it's a chance to beat them on their soil. Because the Canadian elephant never forgets. And yeah, those exist.